Hey guys, it's Ash. The main point of this video is, you know, this whole fight for 15 movement that's going on on social media and how fast food workers and people who are working entry level job positions feel like somehow they deserve to be paid $15 an hour. When I was 18, you know, four summers ago, I started working at a retirement center for people with Alzheimer's and dementia. And that required me to get some certification. Granted, I don't have to be a Cena to work there, but if I was a Cena, I'd get paid more. But I started out at working $11 an hour. Fast forward three and a half years later, four years later, what have you, I'm only making 80 cents more than when I started. And I have a lot of experience, and it's a skill set that I've learned. But it's not the same as flipping burgers or delivering pizza or waiting tables. I'm dealing with people's lives and there are people that do better work than me. Nursing and dental assistants. Like, there are people who make $13, $25, $14 an hour doing work that's a couple steps above me. And do you have the audacity? to demand $15 an hour for a job that doesn't require you to have an education. You don't even have to have a, a GED or a high school diploma to work at McDonald's. And there are people that are working hard to get an education to make a better life for themselves. Let me just say, my sophomore year, I paid over seven grand, almost eight grand out of pocket throughout the year in order to stay in school. I had three jobs and was going to school full time in order to put myself through school in order, in order to make it. And you think you deserve more money than me when I'm cleaning up people's bedpans, washing hairy old men, changing bedpans, and dealing with crazy because you somehow believe that because you're an American, you deserve. To live comfortably. College graduates don't live comfortably. <laughs> Let's get real people. It just amazes me how how far downhill we've gone as a society. And it just blows my mind. Like there's no way. If you believe the politicians who say that they want to raise your minimum wage, I tell you. <laughs> Gracias. But somehow you think, I don't know, it's just in some Wall Street, you know, Twitter account tweeted, you know, fight for 15. In serio? Are you serious? <laughs> don't buy the hype, because they just want your vote. Uneducated America. If they're serious about promoting the fight for 15, <laughs> They have no clue about how economics works. So I guess my takeaway from this video is shut your trap, keep flipping your damn burgers, or grow some balls, put yourself through school, and get a new job. Then you can have the life that you want. And I'm not talking about, you know, we can go on about, you know, homelessness and poverty. That's a completely separate issue than, you know, raising a minimum wage. There are veterans that don't have jobs and people have become homeless because, you know, they get laid off from work and, you know, sometimes your luck runs out. I'm not talking about that. That's a completely separate, different issue. It's the people who are working, you know, entry-level jobs, minimum wage jobs, jobs that don't require you know, any certification or education in order to get the job, um, demanding uh, that they be be able to live comfortably, more so than more so than a veteran. You know, soldiers make less than fifteen dollars an hour. It's just crazy to me. I don't understand how, as a society. We can be so lazy, yet demand so much. I don't know. And 
and I am not sorry for posting this video and I am not sorry for swearing because I am angry, I am frustrated, I spent five years getting a bachelor's degree which I have paid almost, you know, I think it's about 18 grand total out of pocket. That doesn't include the loans I'm going to have to pay back. I worked as a student year round in order to pay to stay in school. But at McDonald's who... you know, works in an assembly line or presses buttons on a machine, thinks they deserve to make more or the same amount as me. I have a bachelor's degree and I take care of people's lives for a living. Really. You entitled selfish little bastards. And I'm gonna get a lot of grief in this video. Because at the end of every video I say take care, God bless, hasta luego. But Jesus called the Pharisees a generation of vipers, and vipers mean sons of snakes. And we have a similar term in the United States. Use your frickin' imagination. So I'm not sorry. Sorry, not sorry. I guess that's all I have to say for this video. Comment down below. Like, subscribe, dislike, leave your hate, troll. It really doesn't matter to me. But let's talk about this fight for 15 and how incredibly ridiculous and nonsensical it is. I need to get that off my chest. Thank you for watching this video. Take care. God bless. Hasta luego.